What is up, everybody? Blue Dog 35 here. Um, I'm doing a double restoration because I accidentally bought two Bolt Hellcats. Um, this one is totally fucked. Uh, this one is totally fucked. So, uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Um, we'll go around in the traditional way of removing all the body panels. Um, and, uh, I'm only gonna really, um, do two of these. Wow, that made no sense. I'm a little bit tired. Um, I have to stay up all night because um, I have my first real day of work. Uh, and it's a third shift. So um, it's kind of... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I have to stay up until about noon. And it is currently uh, 12.22 a.m. So I have to stay up 12 more hours, and I've already been up about, uh, 7. So I'm a little bit tired. <coughs> um, I'm gonna do these one at a time, uh, aside from the whole, you know, removing the body thing. Um, I'm just gonna tear these down one by one. And this probably, um, is gonna be a one-off. Uh, I don't plan on doing multiple car restorations, especially the same ones. Um at the same time, but I accidentally bought two of these cars, so I figured, you know, why the hell not, and if for some ungodly reason somebody likes it, um, you know, then I'll do more, but I highly doubt it, because I don't think I'm going to like it, <laughs> I'm probably not going to talk much, but then again, I say that in all of my videos, and... I end up yakking up a storm. <coughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I guess um, uh, for those who care, uh, life update. Um, it's starting to look up a little bit for me. Uh, it's been kind of crappy in the past. Um, let's see. Uh, four years. <laughs> a while, ever since my mom got sick and then all that stuff, so, um, let's see, 2013, 2012, um, about mid-2012 was when, uh, my mother was diagnosed with lung cancer, and then everything went to hell in a handbasket, and then she passed away in June of last year, 2014, so, uh, yeah, it's starting to look up, and I can rebuild, and all that stuff. I have the technology. Um, not that, you know, anybody cares. Let's get rid of the radiator first. But, yeah, losing a parent is not fun, and losing your only parent is equally not fun. <coughs> but let's not be Debbie Downer. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I come equipped with a monster. Um, so, I'm probably going to end up digging into that sometime in the next, I don't know how long this is going to take. My normal ones usually take about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to do these. Um, these restoration ones. So, um, I, like usual, or as usual, I am going to cut, um, uh, myself a slice of cheesecake. No. Um. I am going to cut in between, like, actually buying and repairing the parts, because, uh, you know, that's extremely boring. I um, mean, also, I have uh, my dinner in the oven, in the toaster oven. <clears throat> so, I'm going to cook that. Or I guess you could call it lunch, because, you know, yeah, third shift. But, um, I didn't want to do that. I've been uh, trying to force myself to get on a third shift sleep schedule. Um, I've been hired temporarily 
uh, at fabulous establishment known as Walmart. Um, a lot of people would be like, oh, Walmart, but hey, it's a job. Um, and it's, you know, money to help, uh, repair my vehicle, which needs desperate repair. Um, I could really only get a job, uh, at the same establishment, and actually, you know, I'm going to lift this car, because, um, I hate doing brakes down there. Um, <clears throat> I could really only get a job working at the same place Doug works. Uh, Doug's my roommate, if you didn't know. Um, because, uh, uh, I don't have a car, or I do, but it's broken, um, <laughs> and needs an engine rebuild, but, um, I don't have access to a car, so I can really only get a job where he works, and during the hours that he's working, um, because while he told me I can use his car, um, you know, if I'm using his car, uh, you know, let's say I had a Let's say I had a, you know, second shift job and I worked, you know, five to whatever, or, you know, one to whatever. Um, I, there's a chance that I could work, you know, while he's working. And then, you know, one of us doesn't have a car. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I've been hired temporarily, which is good, um, because it'll allow me to save enough money to... Um, you know, get the final parts and pieces to fix my car, uh, and then I can, you know, put the money into the car and get it running. Um, and then pretty much after I, uh, after I rebuild the engine, um, that car will pretty much be, um, 100% mechanically sound because I've replaced the transmission. Um, uh, I just did the clutch, um, and you know I have another one that'll be going into it, um, <coughs> and I have another as a backup because uh, I you know like to get a little spirited with the car, um, and then. Uh, the engine will have been rebuilt with, you know, pretty much brand new internals. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be building it. It's not like a, you know, performance build or anything. It's just kind of stock parts and, <clears throat> you know, whatever. But it's going to have, um, you know, brand new head gaskets, brand new, uh, oh, I need to remove the tranny. Um, brand new head gaskets, brand new, um... Uh, timing gear, brand new, everything, you know, the block's gonna be machined, um, oh, I didn't, let me do that, the block's getting honed and machined, um, I'm pretty sure I need connecting rods, so those are gonna get, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get semi-decent connecting rods, I'm gonna get, like, um, uh, semi-performance connecting rods, just lightweight ones or whatever, because, you know, I like to have a little bit of fun. Um, and then, you know, all that crap, Mallory's going nuts on the, uh, beverage dispensing units. <clears throat> but, I mean, <clears throat> other than that, um, I, uh, I'm probably, um, if I make enough, um, working, because when Walmart hires temporary, it's six months or until you get fired. Um, I don't plan on getting fired. Um, and, uh, I would like to, um, work there full, not full time, but I'd like to work there at least part time. Um, they do have the, the Walmart that I'm going to be working at. <clears throat> um, has what's called a TLE center, and it's a tire lube express. Um, so they sell tires, they mount, um, rotate, whatever, tires, and, um, uh, do oil changes. So, um, I know those places are kind of scumbag, uh, 
um, places to work. Um, but, you know, it's a job and it's working with cars. Um, so I did put that <clears throat> as an interest uh, in position. And, you know, if I do kind of decent in my job that I was hired as, then, uh, you know, I get, according to what they say, um, Walmart employees get uh, first pick of um, jobs, like first consideration for jobs, <clears throat> excuse me, for jobs, um, you know, within the company. So, like, if I wanted to transfer to, you know, something else. <clears throat> um, you know, it's not a given, but, you know, if I'm qualified, and I'm pretty sure I'm qualified to, you know, change oil and do tires. I know how to work a tire machine and all that crap, so, um, you know, that's, uh, that, that is definitely a possibility, and I could be working there part-time, so, um, that would be cool. I would definitely have enough, uh, time and, you know, a little extra money for, uh, <coughs> a lot more videos on YouTube and stuff, and if I got the, uh, the TLE job, I wouldn't be working, um, third shift, because they don't hire, whoa, I didn't want to zoom in that much, uh, they don't hire third shift for that, <coughs> so I would be working, you know, normal hours and all that stuff, but basically what I was trying to, or thinking about, um, doing is, uh, if I do, and this is, you know, and if, if I do end up getting that job, um, as the, you know, at, at the TLE Center, um, I will be making enough to, um, um, get a second car, um, and, uh, nothing, you know, super extravagant, you know, I won't be buying, like, any friggin', uh, Lexus or, you know, brand new car, <clears throat> but, um, what is cool about, um, where I am located, uh, they do not do, um, emissions testing on cars, so, uh, they don't, they don't plug the car into the OBD2 scanner, um, or put, uh, you know, a sniffer on the exhaust pipe, um, so it's like, you know, a gearhead's dream because it's, you know, they don't do that. Um, like Doug's Jeep, has, the check engine light has been on since he got it, pretty much. Um, and it's for an EVAP leak. But pretty much in mass, um, if, you know, where I'm, where I'm from, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> um, allergies are kicking my ass. <clears throat> uh, in mass, they have California emissions. Um, so basically, if you have your check engine light on, um, you will not pass inspection. Um, if your check engine light is on for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> so my car, with the check engine light, uh, you know, eternally on, I mean, it is a Subaru after all, um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, it is a Subaru after all, so the um, check engine light is, you know, it's like a Volkswagen. It's always on. Um, <clears throat> is it a forest fire on the horizon, or is it a Volkswagen meet? Uh, you know, something like that, or a Subaru meet. Um, but no, um, my, my car can, you know, pass emissions, or pass inspection. Um, I don't have to, you know, know anybody. I just have to live in this county, which I do. Uh, I am a legal resident now, which is cool because I have my Pennsylvania ID now. Um, <clears throat> uh, but um, that that is a plus because um, I can get, <coughs> excuse me, I can get a car, uh, just you know something in shipbox, and as long as it's mechanically sound. Um, I don't really, <clears throat> god damn it, my throat, I don't really have to worry about, um, you know, emissions, which is cool. <clears throat> Pardon me, I am going to crack into this monster here, ladies.
<clears throat> Good stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't have to worry about emissions or anything because um, they don't test emissions here. So that's that's definitely like every gearhead's dream. <clears throat> And also the um, exhaust laws are extremely lenient. Uh, basically, um, you have to have a catalytic converter or something that looks like a catalytic converter. Um, you need to have uh, uh, an, an exhaust that exits um, out the uh, uh, behind the passenger. So basically, I could do side exit exhaust on my car if I wanted. Because the end of the passenger cabin is, um, you know, behind the, uh, the door. The rear door. So, that's pretty neat. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I want to, you know, totally go crazy with the Subaru. Um, but, um, what I'm thinking for a, uh, a second car... Just something to, you know, beat the crap out of while, you know, I'm building the Subaru. Um, because I do eventually want to do some sort of build for it. Or with it. You know, some sort of, like, performance engine build. Um. I, I do eventually want to do something. Or I might just keep the Subaru as my daily. Um. And, uh, end up doing some, you know... Uh, buying like a shipbox Honda or, you know, I might see if I can find like a Honda CRV um, with a, uh, a five speed manual and four wheel drive. And, you know, build, race that out, see if I can find like a, um, <clears throat> you know, one of those, one of those, uh, one of those VTEC motors and plop that in there, you know? Because I do have all the tools to do that. Um, and engine swaps are, you know, semi... Uh, semi easy, especially in the same family. Um, or I might go, you know, old school, um, see if I can find a, uh, like a Monty or something. I'm not sure if I want to go, um, you know, American or not. Um, I, I have much love for, uh, muscle cars, but, uh, I don't, I don't really know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I like my Japanese cars. Very easy to work on. Very, uh, very simple. One thing I refuse to get uh, is a German car. I will never buy an Audi or a BMW. Um, not even an E30, you know, because, you know, $12,000 engine rebuild, son. Um, I'm good. <clears throat> I don't think it's really $12,000 if you do it yourself, but um, they're, they're extremely expensive. <clears throat> I would, uh, I would like to experience something, uh, different than the Subaru. Um, you know, everybody has a Honda. Um, surprisingly, th in this area, um, the Hondas are not very popular. Um, excuse me. I apologize for that. Um, but surprisingly in this area, um, it's all old school, like, and it's not even really old school, it's all, like, um, mid-90s American cars, so, there's, like, there's so many, um, like, Luminas and, um, 
Like, I've seen more Chevy Berettas here than I have anywhere else. Um, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. You know, like, Cavaliers and, um, there's, there's a whole bunch of Aztecs. Like, there's, uh, there's like five Aztecs around town. And you never see Pontiac Aztecs. You never see them. Um, there's, there's somebody at Walmart that's got a, that works at Walmart that's got a mint white one. Thing is, like, fucking perfect condition. <clears throat> it's got, like, a small rust spot on the hood. And that's it. Fool tank. And then we need to do the engine block. Um, battery, master cylinder. Uh, that's pretty much it on this one. And then we have two stripped car cusses. Ha, 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 ha. Yes, I, I went there. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe like a, uh, a Honda CRV, um, five speed, see if I can find something, and just drop it on its nuts, and, uh, make it nice and fast, and maybe a turbo, or, you know, something, because those, those Honda motors, you can tur boost the piss out of them, and they don't care, so, I'm thinking something like that. <clears throat> I like sleepers, I like stuff that I can... You know, that's, that's, people don't suspect is, you know, a, a fast car. Um, but yeah, so let's, uh, let's double check all this. Um, that looks pretty bare to me. And then I just ripped everything out of here. So, uh, I'm going to call that done. Um, I am going to go, uh, retrieve my dinner, lunch, breakfast from the, um, the hot box that makes things edible. And, um pause and fix and buy all the parts that I need and then come back and we'll build these cars and sell them for a lot of money. So, uh, yeah. I'll be back. We'll see you then. Alright, I am back and as you can see by my bank account excuse me I went a little bit crazy. Just a little. Um, I don't know which one to start with. It doesn't really matter. Let's go with the green one because I like blue better. So let's go here, we'll put the engine block in, and of course I need an engine block, fucking stupid, dumb, ignorant, shithead. Okay, so that's for the other car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other engine block in too, just for shits and giggles. Alright, <clears throat> so we have the engine block in. Uh, Alright, so I have my phone going crazy. Um, huh. One of my friends was having a little bit of an issue. So, if I need to pause, I will, but uh, I'm going to try to not to. <clears throat> We're just gonna try and go for, you know, record time, assembly, whatever. Um, if for some reason I need to buy a part, I'll buy it. <clears throat> I'm sure there's something I overlooked somewhere. You know, like the engine block. Um, but, yeah, so, um, it's been like an hour and a half since I, uh, since I last recorded anything because I kind of got caught up watching something on YouTube. Um, there's a guy that does uh, three rail O scale um, trains and I'm I am a big fan of model trains. Uh, I know it's a quote unquote boring hobby but I'm a big fan of model trains as if any of you have seen my other uh, some of my other videos um, I have some end scale stuff uh, and I had a temporary layout set up a while ago I don't have it set up now because uh, we needed the room but I had it you know big plywood board and 
had something set up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but uh, I would like to eventually get something, you know, full on going there, because that would be uh, that'd be pretty cool. I've always wanted the, you know, full on layout. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, never really had the space for it. So. <clears throat> and I, you know, I really don't want to impose a train layout on my friend Doug, um, cause, you know, I don't, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be living here, um, permanently or not. And I need <clears throat> middle mufflers. Alright, so we're just gonna, um, so I know I need at least three... I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of them. Um, I think this has cats. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I don't think it does, actually. But I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch, and then I know it's got this one. I don't even care. Um, so I think that's it for the um, front suspension. Yep. So, onward to the rear. Two. Yeah, this doesn't have catalytic converters. <clears throat> it's just got middle mufflers and rear mufflers. So, we'll put the rear axle in. Focus on the rear axle. Um, and we'll put the drive shaft in. With the friggin' knuckles the size of um, a semi truck. Don't need that big of a uh, friggin' universal joint, but hey. <clears throat> and I'm gonna need the uh, rear axle housing. What is that? Rear axle knuckle housing B. <clears throat> I'm gonna need that for the other car. So we got the leaf springs in. We need this one. Alright, we have enough. <clears throat> and we have another fuel tank, so that's good. <clears throat> Come on, what about a fuel pump? We good? Alright, I have a few fuel pumps. <clears throat> throat's still bothering me a little bit, but I am good. We have axles. Um, the cylinder. Brake drum. And the wheel. Um, oh, yeah. Dur. U-bolts. How could I forget you bolts? You boats. <clears throat> um, back when I went to um, Lee Speedway in New Hampshire, <coughs> there was <coughs> excuse me, my God, um, there was this guy that raced there named Brian Thompson, really nice guy. Um, he had a wreck, uh, he was going for the lead, I think, um, off turn four, and he got turned into the wall, and, uh, he, he pretty much, you know, uh, made just absolute sweet, sweet mechanical love to the wall, and, um, the whole front end of the car was totaled, the whole rear end of the car was totaled, you know, the, the, rear axle was knocked out of it and it was just oh man it was it was terrible um, <clears throat> but um, he was okay uh, his mechanic um, actually ended up uh, getting the car back together like pretty much the whole right side of the car was totaled 
Like the 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 entire right side was just absolutely pancaked. Um, you know, it, it needed a new front clip and a rear clip. And if it wasn't his only car, he probably would have, um, you know, just kind of scrapped the thing and built a new one. <clears throat> um, but this thing was absolutely destroyed. And uh, his mechanic um, used a, a rat ratchet strap. Pardon my shitty language skills. Uh, he used a ratchet strap, um, got the rear end all squared back up, um, and actually got the thing back together and running enough to drive it back onto the trailer. Uh, <laughs> I, I found uh, massive amusement in that. Um, I do have a video of that way, way back in my archive somewhere. Um, and, uh, it's, it's of, you know, it's, it's of his, uh, car. It, it was so bad that they didn't want to drag it away, um, on, you know, on a, uh, um, on a tow truck. They actually used two tow trucks, um, one at either end to, you know, pull it into the pits. So one tow truck going in reverse, the other one um, going forward. It was that bad. But yeah, that, that just shows the determination of um, some people. That, that car was absolutely destroyed. Um, and he came back uh, about two weeks later after they... They put a new front clip on the car, they straightened out the rear end, um, and, uh, they, they pretty much cut out the entire right side of the car, um, and, uh, the entire right, right side, um, roll cage, and rebuilt it. <clears throat> and he came back and ended up uh, doing fairly well. Get, oh, I need a distributor button. <sighs> I overlook a few things. Uh, there we go. Just give me a hundred of them. I wish you could buy mass buy things. I really do. That would be cool, because, you know, just give me like... I'll take ten. Because, you know, like when you want to buy pistons or <clears throat> or when you want to buy like those clips or whatever, you got to do it. Or, you know, uh, push rods. <laughs> you got to do it one by one. So you sit there and you hit it 16 times or even rockers. <clears throat> like these guys, the rocker arms. Pain in the ass. a little bit. <clears throat> Just a little. Um, is that power steering pump? Yeah. I don't think they have air conditioning compressors in this. And then plug wires. Cam gear, timing chain,
Oh, shit. Nope. Don't want that. Bad. Bad. No. Radiator in the way. Water pump pulley. Tablet. Engine. Water pump pulley. Water pump pulley. So it never happens again. Of course it will. Nope. Master cylinder. What's over here? Ah. Bra <laughs> Brakes! Front wheels! <laughs> oh, shit. truly do not think that's it. I mean... Oh my god, it is. Look at that. Parts value. Or parts condition, 100%. Everything. Look at that! Rawr! So that's the first one. Um, we're gonna go and flop it down. I could have just hit M. Let's go like this, M. We're going to put it in the center. And we're going to reattach. 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 And yes, I know I have multiples of everything. That's just so I don't have to go through the trouble of fixing things when I get... Because I do play this in career, and I do do other things than just this. Um, so, body condition 100%. Let's move this into the paint shop. Um, we'll paint it. And then we'll put it right back on the uh, supply. We'll put it right back on the, look at that, nice and shiny. Right back on the lifter. So that's brand new. Brand new car right there. Oh, let's do it again. Woohoo. Alright, where did I start? Um, suspension. Because I need to put the crank and shit in. So. <clears throat> um, I'm actually going to cut here. Oh, shit. I didn't remove a headlight. Oh, no. The world is over. Uh, I'm going to cut here for a second and I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. I just needed the t text real quick, and uh, I didn't want to um, uh, make it so, like, I was doing something, and then I wasn't doing something, like, uh, painful, whatever, so. I'm just gonna do all this right quick. All this shiz night. I know I'm breaking tradition here, but I'm not really worried. I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible because this is already long with, you know, doing two cars at once. I want to get out of here as much as you do. And if you're still watching, I commend you. If you're still watching and you watch until the end, um, do me a favor. Um, actually, if you're still watching now, uh, leave a comment. Just say something. I don't even care if it's just, like, dildos or, you know, something. Just say something. Say something! I need the company. No. Um, just let me know you got here, because, uh, 
I want to know if people actually watch the my longer videos. Because this one's going to be like 45 minutes to an hour long. So I just want to know. I need to know. I need to know. Uh oh, copyright strike. Um. Aside from breaks and all that stuff, I'm just gonna do this whole thing. And, oh, the drive shaft will be the last piece that I put in. Unless I decide otherwise. And I need rims. Guess I didn't, wasn't able to fix Rim Classic 08. I need three of them. Rim Classic 08. Rim. One, two. Trace. Oh, so I got a joke for you. Um, so, there was this, uh, Spanish, um, no, oh, that's a thrilling joke, uh, Spanish magician, right? So, he's like, alright, on the count of three, I will disappear. You know, just, you know, one of those David Blaine whatever things. And, uh, so, he's like, uno, dos, and then poof. And he disappeared without a trace. <clears throat> yeah, I know, crickets. Lame, lame, lame joke. That's like a Spanish dad joke. And I need a knuckle B. <clears throat> I keep going to the wrong one. I need a knuckle B. Knuckle B. It's like Applebee's, but knuckles. Knuckle B. <clears throat> that really was a shit joke, wasn't it? Man, I suck. Comedian, I am not. I mean, I'm funny, like, you know, in person, but it's just because I'm awkward. Um, you know, I can make you probably kiss your pants, um, you know, if I punch you hard enough, but, um, I wouldn't want to do that. Sure, let's put a flywheel on. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Clutch plate, pressure plate. I really wish doing a clutch was this easy in real life. Just like, click the parts to make them go on. Press E to pay respects. Come on. There we go. Alright, so, drive shaft. We're going to do that last. Because I said so, and I'm going to... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> this is going rather quickly, though. It's going rather thrillingly. Did I not buy three wheels? Oh no, I already have another one on. Fucking stupid ass. Woohoo! I'm brilliant. I am the smartest human ever. I are not for the good think learn with my brain me am me Tina am mad pooper. It's time to stock up on ventilated brick disc. Brake dicks. Varntolarded brack dicks. <clears throat> Alright, so motor needs to or engine <sighs> vehicle needs to go down. Won't you take me to funky town? I would like to What's, what's the Joseph DeCrow 
meme image macro thing. It's like a very complex way of saying a simple thing. Usually it's like a um oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that this was the beginning to fucking Don't You Want Me Baby by the Human League. Um. Don't you want me? Uh. At least I think it's the Human League. Peter Mandelson. Um, but no, uh. Uh, what was I saying? Oh. Joseph DeCrow. It's like a very, very complex way of saying. Uh, I need to buy an engine head. Uh, of, of saying a simple thing, so it would be like, um, um, uh, you and I, woman, aren't anything other than s warm blooded sentient beings, so let us engage in the reproductive act, uh, as seen on Discovery Network. Um, I entered in a similar fashion of the proper use of a large concrete sphere used for the demolition of buildings. <clears throat> um, th these are absolutely terrible. But it's the only... What do they need? Oh yeah, cylinder head. Um, it's the only... It's the only thing I know. V8 OHV. That's for a twin cam. <sighs> I still haven't ripped apart one of those. One of these days. One of these days, bang, zoom, straight to the moon. <clears throat> but, um... So, what was I saying? I forget, my brain does not work. I used to be beautiful, but not no more. Look at my nose. I came in like a wrecking ball. Why the fuck is that stuck in my head now? <clears throat> fuck you, Miley. I know some people who would, but... Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. <clears throat> Don't you want me, baby? Yeah, I know. I suck at singing. Yet I still do it. And we have the exhaust. Boom. 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 Let me hear you say well. Remember that song? My god. Holy friggin' hell, I haven't thought about that song in like 15 years. It's like fucking Chumbawamba. I get knocked down. But I get up again. You know you're never gonna beat me down. I used to think that song was hilarious because it said pissing the night away. And I never realized that, you know, um, they're from Europe and that means like wasting time. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Uh. I need the carby. Carburation day. Speaking of carburation day, uh, the Indianapolis Jones 500 was today. Or yesterday, technically. 
and uh, oh, I need the um, um, drive shaft, and then I think that oh, I never filled this with oil. Or, um, the uh, the Indy 500 was today, and uh, Juan Pablo, Juan, uh, you broke my fucking head, Pablo Montoya. One. I don't know how. Some sort of witchcraft or voodoo or something. <clears throat> That's my guess. And he didn't even drink the milk. He gave it to his freaking kid. I wanted to punch him in the mouth. <clears throat> I don't care if you're lactose intolerant, you friggin' win the Indy 500, you drink that fucking milk. <clears throat> I don't care if you're gonna have the shits for a month. <clears throat> Alright, so let's drop this bitch. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's... <clears throat> what, what would Joseph DeCrow say? Drop it like it's hot. Um, disengage grip As if it were a flame. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so let's check this out. Parts condition 100 percent. Look at that. We'll move this bitch to the center. As is tradition. And we will place all the body parts. Which... For some reason, are in my inventory, which is totally not creepy at all. Um, you know, they're in a plastic bag. Do you remember your first boob feel? Ah, so there's that. We're gonna put that in the pant shop. We're gonna go into the pant shop. We're gonna pant it. Yes. I came in like a wrecking ball. Um, this song is kind of catchy, but whatever. So there they are. There she is, Mrs. Bolt Universe. Um, how much can we sell it for? Forty-eight grand. So uh, I just made. Jesus, I just made a lot of money. Um, so we're gonna go like this. It's gonna go bye bye, and then we're gonna go like this, and that one's gonna go bye bye. And I have a hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars. Um, you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna go buy one of those expensive cars because I've never um, uh, actually had the chance to restore one. Um, I'm gonna buy, like, uh, not one of these, because I already have one of these, it's coming up. Um, but I'm gonna buy one of those, like, uh, uh, twin cam V8 ones. Expensive. So, if you liked this video, and if you made it to the end, um, please rate, subscribe, like, say hello, leave a comment, leave a thank you. I don't know, you don't have to say thank you, I'm not gonna make you say thank you to me. Um, thank God for me, Jim Sterling. Thank God for Jim Sterling. Um... But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Good night!